Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In today's video we're going to be picking up where we left off in part 2. Uh, first off we're going to be addressing a couple of issues that we had. The first one that was the engine was cutting off obviously when we were going below the water because it didn't have any air. So we'll address that by going ahead and adding a couple of electric motors. The second thing that we'll go ahead and obviously address is I noticed that when I just finished recording the last video that I actually put down a toggle button instead of a push button for the uh, engine itself. So it was using all the battery and cutting itself off. Uh, as you can see here at the moment, I've gone ahead and added the ladders that was irritating me in the last video. So that's been taken care of. Uh, and we'll, along with that, we're also going to be adding the control surfaces, um, obviously to the main tower of the submarine and then also at the back. So we're going to be able to control it to go either left or right and then along up and down. So with that all said, we'll go ahead and get started. So we've just come into the workbench here on the harbour side of the Creative Island. Um, as you can see here, we've loaded our submarine from the last tutorial. Um, first thing to note that I've done while we've been away is um, I've gone ahead and added the ladders on. Uh, that was giving me a little bit of trouble last time getting on the submarine itself. Uh, so we've taken care of that. The second thing that we had an issue with uh, with the last video was the propeller wasn't turning fast enough. And that was a simple case of our actual gearbox was originally set at one to three. I've gone ahead now and just changed that to one to one. Um, so you, it's now turning properly, which is great. Um, we also said that we were having an issue with the um, button for the engine itself. When I placed it down, it placed down a toggle button instead of a push button that I wanted. So we've gone ahead and replaced that and that's all fixed and working now. So with that all done and said, uh, we'll actually go ahead now and start sorting our engine out and adding the electric components to it uh, so that it can obviously run when it's submerged. So to do that, we're just going to go ahead and delete our original piping that we have to go to the rear of the engine or the rear of the submarine. Uh, so first off, what we want to do is we need a gearbox for the propeller itself. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a gearbox on, obviously in the same color set as we used for the last video. So go ahead, add the gearbox on here. Just double check that it's all the right way. The arrows are pointing the right way, perfect. And then we're just going to go ahead and add a electric motor onto that. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a medium sized electric motor. With that place, we can now go ahead and actually place our generators down. I'm just going to go ahead and use two medium sized generators. Um, obviously you have to troubleshoot this and obviously experiment a bit uh, depending on how much power is coming from the engine how many generators you have and obviously how many batteries you have um, so it will obviously all vary and change according to how much power you're going to actually get out of the engine and how many batteries you will actually be able to charge and how long it's going to take uh, but for the moment we'll just go ahead and put two down and then see how we're getting on to actually charge our batteries so with that all connected, uh, we can go ahead and actually now and start placing our batteries down. Now you'll see here I've just added a couple blocks just to separate the engine bay from the actual main area or crew compartment. Uh, with that done, I'm going to go ahead and start adding some batteries down. Now, as you can see here, I would love to use the large ones, but the large ones are quite big. Um, so I'm not going to be using that for this tutorial. So I'm just going to be using a whole bunch of the medium sized ones. Once again, it didn't click it. I'm going to be using a whole bunch of medium sized batteries and we're going to be using that going along the wall. And then eventually we'll actually go ahead and close this compartment up. And what we'll do is we'll link all the batteries together so that they're all using the same amount of energy, which will be great. And then what we can do after that is we can actually just go ahead and we'll add some doors and things to it later, but you, you kind of get the point is that this is going to be the electrical store and then obviously our engine engine compartments and then this will be the crew compartment here uh, with our front ballast and rear ballast. So with that done, we've placed down our batteries. Um, seems that we have an electric motor now, we obviously need a throttle to control that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and place down another throttle. With that placed down, we're going to go ahead and just name this to our electric throttle. And then also because electric motor actually has a built-in reverse, uh, you don't need to actually go ahead and configure the gearbox itself. Obviously, if you want different ratios or um, to the torque, then you can, but at the moment we're fine with one to one. And then obviously if you give it a one value, it's going to go forward, minus one value, it's going to go re to, um, in reverse. So with that down and placed, uh, we will be going ahead in a future video and obviously cleaning this all up and actually building the compartments. I'm thinking of doing a full video just 
dedicated to actually detailing uh, and making it look quite nice. I think that will be quite useful. Uh, so with that done, we've got all that placed. Now we need to go ahead and actually start hooking things up. Um, so we'll start with by deleting our old battery, which we don't need anymore because we have a quite a few over here uh, so we'll go ahead and now start collecting our electric so with the batteries themselves I'm just going to go ahead and actually just link them all to each other in this fashion get them to come across here and then we'll only use one as our main battery source so that's all gone ahead and being connected and then we'll go ahead and take that bottom one and then we'll now start going connecting that to all our different components including all our dials, obviously, levers, switches, pumps, so on and so forth. So once we have that all connected, we obviously need to go jump to data and just make sure we have everything connected. Now, first off, we obviously added that lever, so we need to go ahead and connect that to the throttle. As I said earlier, we don't need to control that gearbox at all at the moment because we can go forward and we can go reverse with the electric motor itself. We obviously want to know how much battery we have, so I'm going to go ahead and just connect one of them at the moment to the battery set dial, which is just over there. Now with all that connected and good to go, uh, we'll go ahead and actually just test it. But before we test it, because we've gone and added a whole bunch of weight, um, so we've added obviously our electric motor, we've added our two generators, we've added all these batteries over here. This all, all weighs quite a bit. Um, if you go here, you'll see that the batteries themselves weigh 60 each. Um, the actual generator itself weighs 100. Uh, and the electric motor weighs 100. So this has added quite a lot of weight to the rear. Uh, now we won't get it perfect, but what I am going to do is just go ahead and actually delete quite a few of these blocks. Uh, so for example, that electric motor, we said weighed 100. So five of these is going to be 50, 100. So that's 100 blocks gone already. Uh, each one of those generators was 100 blocks or 100 weights. So we'll go ahead and delete 100 there also. And then our batteries themselves, we said were 60. So we have 9, 18, 18 times 60. Don't ask me my maths right now, um, but we need like somewhere around 300 to 400. Uh, we need to get rid of, so 100, 200, 300. I'll take some off the side also, 400. Yeah, and we'll keep it like that for now. Obviously, this will change uh, depending on what components you've used, so on and so forth. As I said earlier, you, it's all about tra trial and error uh, until you get it right to your weight that you need it to be. Um, there's not much point in spending much time on it right now because we're going to be constantly adding new components to the build uh, and it's going to be weighing it down that there's no point in getting it exactly perfect now because that's just going to go ahead and change at the end of the day. So that's done. Uh, we'll go ahead and spawn this in and see if we can get it working. As you can see already, because the rear is much heavier, uh, it's gone ahead and submerged quite a bit more. Uh, so I just want to get it more or less level. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete a couple more of these white blocks and see how that affects it. And also, probably because we didn't close this up, that's probably why it was sinking more. Let's pull that in again. Let's have a look. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, so we'll go ahead onto one of the new ladders that we have here climb up nice and easy in comparison to the last video uh go ahead we'll jump into our compartment here uh so as you can see here we have our nice little compartment where our batteries are going to be stored our engine bay itself uh, and then obviously our new levers i had the mirror effect on so obviously it's gone ahead and placed another one down there um so first off what we're going to do is get our engine started give it a little throttle start it up Fantastic, rotation's on. Our battery's obviously full at the moment, um, so we don't know if it's charging anything or not. So we can go ahead and actually just lower the throttle right down just before it kills it. And then we can go ahead and start actually putting our throttle through to our electric motor. And you'll see now that we start moving, which is great. Uh, the engine's running, so it should be recharging the battery. We'll go ahead and check that just now. Great, it seems like we're working. Perfect. Uh, we'll go inside, we'll check here. Our battery's at 0 0.95. So obviously our generators aren't strong enough to recharge that while we're using the actual electric motor. So we'll go ahead and actually just kill this electric motor here. Uh, or we'll leave it at a very, yeah, kill it off. Turn it off completely. And we'll see now if our, if we can get our diesel engine. So when we submerge, we can charge our batteries off. And then when we drop below 
water, we always can just work on our battery system itself. So we'll see here by running the diesel engine if we can get this value up. We might need to go add a couple of gearboxes to the actual generators so they provide a little bit more power. There we go. So it's gone up. It's, it's recharging our battery. Obviously, it's taken quite a long time, so we might have to look into that and see if we can perfect that a bit. But the, the concept of it is there and it's working, and that was that's always the purpose of the tutorial, guys, is just to explain the, the concepts and get them working for you. Uh, not particularly the best way, but the easiest way for me. So we got that working. Uh, obviously, our fuel is still quite good uh, we can always add more fuel tanks if we need to make this diesel engine last a little bit longer so we'll go ahead we'll kill that off uh, and then we'll spawn this back once we've gone ahead and spawned this back um, now what we can do is we can start adding our control surfaces now in the beginning of the of the series all those tutorials for the subs i said that we were going to add some control surface to the actual tower itself now obviously we need to just be paying a little bit of attention to where our uh, hatches so we don't want to be placing things there so we can go ahead and I think we can go ahead and place just over there. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just help my explain and just delete that level. Zero telling me now. Uh, so once we have that place, we can go ahead and actually can put our control fins down now. This is going to help us to dive. So once we have submerged uh, and filled our ballast tanks, if we want to go lower or higher in the water or submerge in, at least, uh, we'll use these control surfaces while moving to either angle the sub up or angle it down. Um, so with that said, we'll go ahead and just add, I'm going to use the rudders, just plain old rudders. Make sure to enable our x plane again and get that placed down. So as you can see here now, if I give it a negative value, uh, it's going to be moving, or the rear is going to be moving up, which is going to be forcing us to go down. If I'm correct, um, sorry, my mind's gone completely haywire all of a sudden. No, so if it goes up, it's going to bring us up towards the surface. If it goes down, it's going to make us dive. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same for the rear. Uh, however, instead of using our rudders, I'm going to be using control surfaces. So I'm just going to go choose one that I found to be a nice size. So you can see here, we need to add a couple of blocks on here. Go ahead, select our control surface again. Now, when you place this down, you want to place it down in the same direction as the front control surfaces. So, for example, this is on negative going up. This is also going on negative up, which is perfect. So, that's going to work in unison. So, we can connect it all up together. Just make it look a little bit more prettier. And then what we're going to do is we obviously need another control surface, and this will be to go either left or right. Now, you don't have to put it where I've put it. Um, you can pretty much put it wherever you like. For the purposes of the tutorial, I think what we can do is just go ahead and delete three blocks just over here and just use one of our normal rudders. Now, obviously, as always, you, you'll have to troubleshoot it and see how it goes. Uh, that might not be enough. You might need more. Um, just make sure, obviously, it's going in the same direction. So positive is going left. And then that one's got negative is going left. So we need to go ahead and just invert this. Inverted, uh, you can press I, O, whatever you want, just until you get the arrows to being the right way. Negative going left, negative going left, perfect, so it's going in the right direction now. Great, so with that done, we obviously need to add some controls to control that. Um, this is where I'm going to go ahead and just put down a pilot seat. As earlier, this is not going to stay here, this is just temporary, just to get everything working. Um, so don't think, oh, this looks terrible. It does look terrible, I agree with you, um, but it's just to go ahead and actually just control the submarine at the moment. Um, so, for example, A and D is going to be our left and right. So we can go ahead and connect that up. Now we want to make sure that that A and D is going to be on a reset value, which is perfect. And then next we can go ahead, instead of using our throttle lever here to go forward and backwards on our electric motor. We can actually just now use our WS on the actual seat. So we'll go ahead and just get rid of that. And we can actually go ahead and delete our throttle that we had there. So with that all hooked up, we obviously, last thing we need to go ahead and do is just make sure we've got electric going to everything. So I'm gonna go ahead, drag that across and connect our fin rudders or control surfaces to some power. 
and we're going to go ahead and spawn this in and see if everything's going in the right direction. Go ahead, jump into our seats, go into here, and now we can just start pressing buttons. Uh, so W is obviously to move forward, S is to move back, that's perfect. Obviously, it's not on a um, sticky um, button, it's on a reset, so we would have to hold W down to go forward or hold W S to hold S to go down uh, backwards. Uh, and then we can now go ahead and actually now just start checking to see if our left and right is working. So if we want to go left, yep, if we want to go right, perfect. And then now we need to go ahead and obviously just connect our up and down. And to do that, we're going to just use our up and down on the seat itself. Go ahead, connect the front and rear. Spawn that in. And now we can go ahead and check to see if that's working. Close that. And you can see here this is going to be to dive down, dive up, fantastic. Might have the front ones wrong, in the wrong rotation. I guess we're going to find out soon enough. So with that done, we'll go ahead and start our start our engines up. Obviously, we don't need to, if we're just running on electric, we don't need to actually get our diesel working. We can go ahead and now start our sinking feature or our submerging feature. So it's going to fill the ballasts. And then we can go jump to this so you can see. We'll give it a little bit of throttle and we'll start going forward a bit. And we shall start to sink. So go ahead and we'll just test our left to right. So you can see our submarine is now actually turning to the left. And we're putting it to the right. You can see it's now starting to go to the right. So that's working perfectly. I think that doesn't need to be anything quicker than that. And now we can go ahead and start checking our control services. Should be diving down. And there we go. Fantastic. So now you can see we can obviously control on how, what depth we want. Obviously by lifting it up, we can start going towards the surface. If we start pushing down, you can see we're going to start going down to the surface. Obviously I've submerged a little bit in our. Obviously we need to get the weight situated a little better, but we can play around with that once we have all our components done. But yeah, that's pretty much the, the basics um, done there. We've gone ahead, obviously added our control services, which is great. So we're going to go ahead and end the video there, guys. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and found it somewhat inf informative as always. Um, while we're here, I'm going to just quickly talk about the Discord server. I have gone ahead and set that up now. I will link it in the description below. So don't forget to go and add or join to that. Um, I'm on there and hopefully it's going to be a nice place with a whole bunch of community members where we can all go ahead and chat. Um, with that said, we'll go ahead and pick up in the next video where we'll start adding a couple of different sensors and different uh, features to the submarine itself. Um, but I hope this video has provided the basics and just the theory and how to get a submarine working uh, for yourself in your own creation. Uh, with that said, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for future content and we'll see you in the next one.